I have a shoot with Sephora squad tomorrow in an actual studio. They're going to COVID test us in the morning. I have to pack some of my makeup products to bring over there. I'm gonna try to fit all of my makeup in this little Barbie caboodles case that I got a while ago. It fits so many things, so hopefully this will be big enough. I am filming three different looks, so quite a few makeup products. I also have to bring some outfits, so I need a plan for that. This makes me feel so legit. We're in my little studio. Can I call this a studio? Um, in my makeup filming room and I think a lot of the stuff that I need is in my makeup part I'm actually really excited for this shoot and doing something in the studio and I can learn from professionals and see how they do everything I need to bring this rare beauty this is the perfect working travel case it has this mirror this comes off it has all these compartments which is perfect i can like categorize different things it fits so much in here they have this in a bunch of different colors too if you don't like pink this just so happens to be the barbie collab one i have no idea what i'm gonna pack for clothes i just don't know what is appropriate enough like i can't show too much skin and i just have a lot of tank tops <laughs> I don't know, I should just bring like a bunch of options. Maybe I can bring like a dress or something. I can probably bring this dress. I don't really know what kind of vibe they want me to go for. They're only shooting like waist up. I mean, this would be like a cute top to wear also. I think I'm gonna make it a priority to clean out my closet next week or maybe next month. Next month seems a bit more doable. Okay, I think I've picked out a good amount. And I feel like it's a good amount because I'm going to be annoyed when I have to put it all back later. <laughs> I'm so tired. It's like 6.30 right now. And I never wake up this early. I haven't been sleeping very well for the last three weeks or something. Like, my dreams have been so vivid. Like, I feel like I'm being transported into a different life. And I just wake up feeling so exhausted. <laughs> I've really been loving this from Kosas. It's their Hyaluronic Lip Balm in Pulse. I'm using this as my SPF. And it's also supposed to help with redness. Honestly, I just love how the texture is on my skin. It's a little bit thick, but applying it feels so good. today because studs actually invited me into one of their piercing studios to swap out my earrings and possibly get a couple more piercings too i'm gonna see what their piercer has to say because i have a lot of piercings already and i don't know what looks good where if you haven't heard of studs before again they're a piercing studio they have a few different locations and they're actually the ones who coined the term earscaping which is you know like landscaping for your ears figuring out what looks good where what kind of piercing what kind of earrings i have had the same earrings on for years because they're so hard for me to take out these are all earrings that i've gotten at the piercing shop so i have three low piercings piercings on each side it's so funny because I got my like main low piercing when I was really young and I remember sitting in the chair and crying one time I asked my mom I was like why did you um have me get my ears pierced when I was so young and she was like you asked for them <laughs> I was like I did good looking out for me <laughs> I think after that I got these two cartilage piercings I have a tragus a conch and this rook piercing Okay, so what are we thinking of getting pierced? I was thinking probably maybe something here. 
Yeah. So you have space here and then we can do the flat area just so you don't like add something else along the line, you know what I mean? Along the ridge of the ear. I think doing something in the flatter area would like just provide a little bit more balance, but you do have like literally this whole space. Yeah. So we can fit like one here or we can fit like something over. I would do like a pretty funky piece of jewelry, like something a little bit bigger with like a shape. If we do two, I would do like two really small shapes. But also like I see that you have two on that side. Yeah. So that's why I'm like maybe just do one on this side. This is everything that we pierce with. That one would fit really nicely. It would be closer to the edge. Like, right this one's also kind of like the same concept, a bit daintier. Maybe I'll just go with this one. I think this is, yeah, for sure. I think that's the way to go. I'm gonna get everything ready for you. I know, wait, you do want to change out. Yeah. So I'm gonna get pierced with this one today. Okay, we're gonna put the new ones in now. And how is it feeling? Definitely throbbing a little bit. <laughs> I was practicing my makeup earlier. I wanted to try doing uh, Lisa's look from her Hong Kong Vogue cover. I got this ponytail from insert name here. This is the Leanne V ponytail. I curled it yesterday and it's just a little messy, so I wanna like pull it back. I'm getting really impatient with growing out my hair so I thought it'd be fun to try this out and I love how it looks. So this has these pins and you're gonna stick that like in the front right here and then it has this hair strand that you wrap around the base of the ponytail to like hide the velcro pieces. So that's the look. Anyway I wanted to show you um, what I ended up getting at studs because I couldn't show you yesterday when I got home I had such bad cramps I ended up just taking an Advil and laying in bed and just like okay just close your eyes and when you wake up the pain will be gone I also wanted to pull my hair back because I think it would look super cool this is what I ended up getting so I really wanted to stick with hoops down here I got this bezeled one this one has a square edge I wanted to keep the conch ring because I just love it I think it's so cute and then for my tragus I switched it out to this one pearl shape on the bottom and this triangle on top this is the new piercing it's the cartilage piercing we did this curved bar shape something just different we were both talking about like balancing this ear out because a lot of my piercings were on the bottom half of my ear and there was just a lot of space here so it was between a cartilage and a flap which is like this area right here these are much easier to take off they snap on so it's really secure and it doesn't have the you know those regular backings so it's really comfortable I actually just wore these to sleep last night and then these were also from studs and then on this side same thing for down here but these two stud earrings i finally got to switch my brook piercing like i had the bar and now it's this really freaking cute hoop i'm obsessed i love it i think it's just chef's kiss they also gave me a coupon to share with you if you want to get piercing so you can mention sandy 10 to get ten dollars off of your first studs piercing you just have to redeem it at your appointment when you're checking out i'll leave all the details down below and where you can book an appointment um, they have stores in a few major cities um, but if you're also looking for jewelry they can ship it out to you i had so much fun at studs and i just felt like a little kid in the candy store being able to like look at all the jewelry and everything and i've always loved earrings and piercings and so to be able to do like a collab like this is just so so cool <laughs> so yeah definitely check them out and thank you studs for having me in your studio like it was the best time my new coffee tables are here i feel like i've just been unboxing a bunch of stuff it was always between a travertine table or something more art deco hollywood regency vintagey whatever travertine is super expensive and i've been scouring facebook marketplace forever and there was just never one that i loved enough to invest in and also like travertine tables are like thousands of dollars so i found this um smoked glass set of three nest nesting tables on etsy i did like an instagram poll and a lot of you voted yes for it i'm a little worried because it's glass and it was also shipped here from italy i don't even know where to start <laughs> The smoked glass looks so pretty. <laughs> Ignore how messy.
see my apartment is right now. <laughs> I wanted to wait until daytime to show you what the tables ended up looking like. I feel like it just looks so cute. And then eventually I want to mount the TV so I have more shelf space there. Then I won't need so much space on the coffee tables. These are definitely not like gather around and play board games type of tables. Definitely for the aesthetic. Like if you were to put your feet up here, you might break the glass. I wanted the smoked glass because I wanted some contrast to the space. Like everything was just so white and clean and a little bit colorless. Like it was kind of the same two to three colors. My old table is here. Um, I'm actually giving this to Tony. He's gonna come pick it up later this week. He just moved into his new apartment, so I'm really glad it's going to a good home and it was like the perfect timing and everything. Let's find you a plant, Yay. girl. Let's go. Chris is coming with me to get my tree. Adventure time. These are pretty, but they're not the ones I want. You want a bigger one? Yeah, I don't think they have it. I mean, that's pretty. No, I don't. I think that's a cat palm. Yeah, this is, this for sure is a cat palm. No, that's the one that died on me. So fuck that. Okay, let's go to another Home Depot. Round two. Let's go. Oh, you don't got options. These are not cute. No, they're not. I know it sounds ridiculous, but map it. See how far. <laughs> Just do it. We're going to a third Home Depot now because. <laughs> Those options were no bueno. Round three. I see it. Three times a charm. Ooh. This is actually really nice. Yeah, right? There's like a little bit of yellowing, but it's not bad. Yeah. Which one? We did it. It was a struggle. I know. It wasn't too bad, actually. Right? <laughs> three Home Depots later, two <laughs> hours later. Oh, not two hours, an hour and a half. You got, you got stabbed in the neck. I know. Oh, oh my no. god. It's cool, we got this. Today has been such a crazy busy day. So Chris went with me to get this palm tree and it was just such a rush because uh, we had to get it in the morning because I had lunch plans, he had lunch plans and we were just like going back and forth. And then I got an alert this morning saying that these drawers that I needed from Ikea were back in stock. Um, so I had to quickly order them online and I just came back from picking it up. Like. These drawers, last time I got an alert saying they were in stock, I went there like five hours later or something the same day and they were already out of stock because people were ordering them online to pick it up. So I was like, I'm doing that this time. I am not going all the way to Ikea and not getting what I need. I haven't even had time to put this in the corner that I wanted at. This is so much bigger in my apartment than I had expected. Like it looked so small at Home Depot. Go figure. Fenty event before Rihanna came because I just started getting really tired and I had a second tequila drink and it wasn't sitting well so I was like I think it's just best that I go home like yeah I'm devastated I won't even get to be in the same room as her but it's okay that event was so sick like I wish I could have brought someone um, because I didn't really know that many people there either I can't believe I was invited anytime I get to go to an event like that I'm just like how did I make the guest list like this is so cool and everyone there was so gorgeous the lipstick engraving was really cool like now I have a freaking like Fenty lipstick cover with my name on it forever and we also left with a gift box today's kind of like the first day where I don't have to work like it's just been a crazy year already like from catching COVID last month to recovering to jumping back into work it's just been kind of hectic um, you know I'm not complaining but it is nice to get like a little break now I just got a massage today or two I haven't gotten one since the pandemic started but I've been having really bad neck and shoulder and just upper back pain so I was like let's just try and do something about it and there were way more knots in my shoulders than I had expected like when he was massaging it I could feel it rolling and crunching and I did not know those were there and now I feel a lot better it's not as stiff or tight so it did help a little bit and then I actually just picked up some boba I got some boba mofo um still don't fully have my taste and smell back but I still want to 
enjoy like the things that I like, you know, as much as I can. Um, and right now I am going to a furniture store actually because I want to look at some counter stools. I kind of want to get rid of my dining table. Um, well, like put it away into storage because it never really fit in this apartment space. So I've been looking for counter stools because that's kind of what the space was made for. Like there is a counter. There's a difference between counter stools and bar stools. I didn't know this. So bar stools are higher than counter stools. If y'all ever need to know that, like there's actually like a height guideline for your counter and counter stools and a bar and a bar stool. I also want to stop by Michael's store to pick up a canvas and some paint. I wanted a large art print to hang um, in my kitchen area. Area. like there's a giant empty wall space but I haven't really found anything that I like um, or the thing that I like is just like really freaking expensive so I might just paint something for fun and see if I like it enough to like hang it off the wall Ended up getting the dining chairs but they're not here um, they won't be ready until Friday so I have to come back and pick them up I really really wanted them today but it just didn't work out I almost lost my shit when I saw that they had chairs in their as-is section with like a little bit of a markdown but after looking at it further um, the defects were just not worth the amount of the markdown look at how cute this Michaels is <laughs> at Michael's I got a call from the furniture store and she was like I have bad news and good news she didn't have the chairs at her store like her distribution warehouse but they do have it at another location and I can pick it up tomorrow um, and it's actually much closer to my apartment I don't know how that worked out by some miracle but that's like the best case scenario for me because I was kind of dreading having to come all the way out here this location is actually a bit further from me 30 35 minutes without traffic so i don't know i'm just feeling really grateful and lucky that it worked out in my favor like that huge mess right now I need to do so much cleaning there is shit everywhere um, so I finished painting last night slash this morning I didn't sleep because my sleeping schedule has been really messed up and I thought you know what I'm just gonna stay awake and then sleep early tonight and hopefully I can start fixing my sleeping schedule again anyway let me show you what I ended up doing with my painting she is cute right not bad not bad I messed up so many times I almost threw away the entire canvas because I was like, there's no salvaging this. What's the point? It's a mess. But the immigrant child in me was like, you just bought this. You're going to make it work. And I made it work. I'm so happy with how it turned out. Like, I think it's actually worth hanging up now. Like, the previous attempts were kind of embarrassing. Like, my calligraphy and my Chinese handwriting has never been good. So I'm glad I went with this more, like blocky look i did want to do like the very pretty calligraphy but who was i kidding like i can't do that i don't know how to do that so i didn't sleep i made some porridge this morning washed my hair um i actually went to the rose bowl let me show you what i got quick haul oh i also wanted to vlog because i want to show you my dining table before i put it away because i got to the uh counter stools so i'm in the process of moving this dining table and just clearing out all of this space this is how messy my apartment is right now I haven't cleaned anything I ended up getting this like really cute beaded bag 
It's tiny, but it's such a cute summer bag. It was 85 degrees today at the Rose Bowl, so um, yeah, it's getting really warm already. And then I got this napkin holder. I almost didn't want it, but as I put it down, she was like, do you want a bag for that? And I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> I feel like everything in my apartment is becoming super matchy-matchy though, so I'm kind of like, uh, it's really cute, but is it too much? I realized I never showed you how the palm turned out either. So, it's pretty cute. It's just in this corner. I haven't gotten a basket thing for it yet. Okay, so this is the cane chair. It's actually pretty wide. When I sat on it, the cane on the chair like poked so many parts of my leg. I was planning on getting a like cushion for it anyway, but now I for sure like should probably get one soon because I don't want to be sitting on it like poking me all the time. If you have one of these Brita water filters or any water filter, Clean out the bottom. I don't know who needs to hear this, but clean out the bottom. One time I cleaned it out and it was covered in dust or something. The water was dark. It was gross and I'd been drinking it. So clean it. Mm -hmm. <laughs>